What's going on YouTube family? It's J Money One Investing. So I'll bring you guys another video today. We're just gonna be talking about literally all the equipment you need to get started as a beginner in this pressure washing business. So with all that said, let's get right into it. So what's up guys? Uh, make sure you guys like up and subscribe follow the journey man and actually i don't know if you guys remember from my last video i said i was going to be making an ebook that i'll be releasing in about two to three weeks max it's about to be 10 bucks it's just going to be the basics of just like everything you pretty much need to know and then we'll be involving and trying to create an actual full-blown course where it literally is about well, the loc branding logos how to wash proper chemicals like everything you're going to need man but for now in two weeks when we drop the ebooks about to be 10 bucks guys um you know it's just support the family bro but uh let's get right into it though so obviously number one you don't need a pressure washer simple as that this one is a simpson um 3100 psi 2.5 gpm and guys just real quick when you're going to go buy a pressure washer don't get so oh this was 4,000 psi like this is what we need it's all about GPM. The more gallons the water's flowing per minute is how fast you're gonna get that job done. Yes, you do need some PSI. As long as it's 2,500 PSI and up, you're gonna be fine, trust me. Um, this one's just 3,100 and it gets the job done perfectly. Um, we're actually about to buy this new one. It's, about, it's gonna be, I think, four GPM. So we're really gonna be getting them house washes done real quick. But second, obviously you're gonna need some boots. Forgive me, they dirty, we just got done with the job. But uh, you're gonna need some good boots, some slip resistant boots where they're heavy duty, you know, where your socks ain't gonna get wet. Cause when I first started this, I didn't really care for boots. You know, they were like a hundred bucks. So I was like, ah, whatever, I was kind of on a budget. So I was using like Adidas, bro. And I remember this one job, I got hella mud in my toes. And I was like, ah, that, was, that was a nasty shower. <laughs> but you're gonna need some towels, of course. They're dirty, we just got done with the job, like I said. But you know, just in case you get anything on you, you know, wipe it off or, you know, whatever it needs is, they come in handy. You're gonna need your chemical bucket, your downstream bucket, whatever you want to call it. And this is just uh, pretty much the tube for the, the chemical. For those who are saying like, you know, where do I get the, you know, the tube? It comes with the pressure wash, whatever pressure wash you buy. So don't worry about that. So you got your bucket chemicals. Obviously you don't need some gas, gas canteen. Um, this is a five gallon one. This was like 40 bucks. It's really old. It's been a minute, but uh, you get a smaller one literally for like 15, 20 bucks at Walmart guys. So I'm gonna put that over in the bucket. I highly recommend if you're just first starting, you're not, you got a budget, you can't get the, you know, a trailer or anything. Um, I just got this truck, as you guys see the previous videos, you'll literally see that I was like doing it out like my dad's Kia, or I was in a Mitsubishi, my little Galant, bro. I was trying to put it into like a puzzle, man. So this was a blessing that finally just fully out, bought out the truck cash, man, and now we're saving it for the trailer. But the truck has saved me time, I just throw it there, boom, we out, you know? But get you guys one of these if you're just starting because this will organize your main your main essentials for the for the jobs. So you're gonna need you already know your hose that goes to your pressure washer. Your pressure washer will come with one, but they're usually like 25 feet. You, you can't do nothing with this one. This one's 75 feet, helps out a lot. This is the one that came with it, it's 25 feet. I just keep it there because whatever, you know. Put that to the side though. Your pressure washer will come with a small one like this, but it's always good to buy an extended one just for hard, hard to reach places. So you can leave the ladder on the truck. The, one of the main important ones you're gonna need is a surface cleaner. Oh, that was a turbo nozzle that fell. But you're gonna need a surface cleaner. The round little things like this. But I wanna tell you, this is a lifesaver. If, if you're getting a 2.5 GPM to about, I say like three and a half, then get a 15 or 16 inch one. Anything more than that GPM, then definitely get like an 18, 20 inch one. All right. Then obviously your gun comes with the pressure washer guys. So don't even stress it. I did buy this one separately because the one that came with this pressure washer, it's kind of cheap. Like I was, I remember I was doing a, I think I was doing a house wash and water was spewing out right here. And I was just like getting hit in the face. I'm like, yeah, this ain't gonna be it. I'm not supposed to be getting soaked on the job. So, and obviously, get you one of your little cylinder cones, put your gas in there, you don't make a mess. And then this is my favorite tool actually, guys. Good old reliable turbo nozzle. This just gets the, the edges done so much nicely. 
And when if there's pavers and stuff like that, man, this this gets the job done. Especially if there's weeds in them, man, this 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 takes it out. It's about 40, 50 bucks. Like I said, guys, I put all the all the things you need in the description down below and links where you want to get them that are pretty affordable to start off. And uh, I got you guys. And then obviously, let me pick this one up. I don't know if you can see in the back, but you don't need a main hose for the water source to the house. So um, you could use the one at your house. That's what I use. That's a hundred foot hose. I do recommend a hundred foot minimum. I started out like uh, with a 50 foot hose and man, I had to literally uh, disconnect it, put it on the other side of the house, disconnect it from the other side of the house. So 100 feet saves you time, man. I'm moving equipment like crazy. But those are the main stuff, guys. And then obviously, I'll just show you guys the inside real quick. It's a nice sunny day. Oh, I left the keys, man. Got it. There we go. All right. And then you know, always man, always keep some marketing in the back of your truck or car, whatever, how you're using it. I, I, I got a couple signs here around down below. Whenever I'm done with a job, you know, I'll leave one at the end of the community. Or, you know, I always ask the customer, hey, do you mind if I leave it in your front yard? You know, just a couple days, you can throw it out after that. Um, just, you know, just to, just uh, upsell your position, man. Get your, get the neighbors to, you know, call you and stuff like that. So it's always good to have some marketing in you. But these are the main stuff you guys need. Um, Glad you guys stayed to the end of the video, man. I will see you guys soon. And actually, before I let you guys go, for those who remember uh, the one of my first video, I said I was going to be talking about, you know, like side hustles, stocks, all that. Uh, we will be talking about stocks next week, man. So I'm real hyped. We're going to probably do like one or two days talking about, like, you know, the market and, you know, like options and all that good stuff. And another day, you know, we'll do some vlogs and some business stuff. But uh, I'll see you guys next week, though. J Money out.